I think I've told you before that Ruth, my wife, does most of the cooking at home. Look, it's the old story. I spent all my life cooking, so when I get home, I don't really, really feel like doing it. I'll do it on special occasions, but I just, I can't be bothered. Don't tell her though, will you? Just that's between you and I. Anyway, there is a point to this story. This is one of her favorite dishes when she also can't be bothered cooking. So it's a real simple one and it's very tasty, but it is dead easy. And what I've got there is I've got one and a half teaspoons of fresh ginger, which I've grated. I've got some soy, the Japanese soy, not the Chinese. The Chinese is the heavier one. Japanese is a light soy. Four tablespoons of that, two tablespoons of mirin. Now mirin is an Asian or a Chinese rice wine, but you can use dry sherry if you don't have it. But if we look, every supermarket these days has it, I reckon. I might be wrong, but I reckon. <laughs> Sweet chili sauce, two tablespoons of that, and two teaspoons of sesame oil, and two tablespoons of runny honey. So mix that up, and I've got two nice salmon steaks, as opposed to nasty salmon steaks. I don't know why I said nice, but they're, they're really good salmon <laughs> steaks, aren't they? Or you could use ocean trout, I suppose, if you wanted to. And they're quite large, though, so that's good. And what we then do is we just pour this mix over the top. Now, when you get your salmon steaks, whether it be for the supermarket or from your fish mugger, make sure it's pin-boned. Tell him Huey sent you if he starts complaining about pin-boning it. Actually, there used to be here he goes, the Hewitson's digressing here. There used to be a show in New Zealand when I was a kid called The Money or the Box. Still one too, too good and then, look, I'm sure you know what it is, it was a quiz show and you chose The Money or the Box. Sometimes in the box there'd be a car, another time there'd be a, you know, 10 cents or 10p in those days. Anyway, he always used to say, now go to Foursquare, which was the, sh which was the grocery chain that was sponsoring and say, and say sell one sent you. Now I don't know what that was supposed to do but <laughs> my mate who or my father's mate who had a shop around the corner said these bloody people kept coming in and saying someone sent me and I'd say and <laughs> what was he supposed to do? Give him a chicken or something I don't know. Anyway I'm glad I shared that with you. That's gone into 180 degree. I don't know why I told you that story, but anyway, it was quite funny at the time. You had to be there. It's one of those ones. Anyway, that goes into the oven, 180 degrees for about eight minutes, and then we'll do some veggies to go with it. So you can see what I mean, how simple it is. And as I said, it's one of Ruth's favorites when she can't be bothered cooking. Of course, you whip it up in two seconds flat. All right, let's have a look at this. Oh, it looks good. See that sauce is slightly caramelized. Just always when you're checking, just give it a bit of a squeeze there. So when it's ready, it'll still be a bit soft. Now, what I've got here is I've got some wonga bok, you know, which is the comical Chinese cabbage. And I've got some snow peas and I've got some bok choy, which I've just sliced. Now, it doesn't need much and I'm not putting any soy or anything with it because I've got all this lovely sauce that'll be going over the top. And please, 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 please don't overcook. That will do me. I want it nice and crisp. Don't see wongabok much. I love it. It's one of my favorite Asian veggies. Just got a nice crunchy flavor. Get plenty of these beautiful juices over the top. See, this will have some of the juice from the fish, which will be beautiful. I'll tell you one thing, that bloody hot. Oh, that's good. That is good. All right, guys, now what am I going to serve with it? I'm going to be a bit tricky here because my, my dear mate, Mr. Prentice, said with a dish like this, chilled sake. I thought it was an interesting idea, so I tried it. And I thought he was a bit mad. I have to be honest. Well, Mr. Prentice is a bit mad, I have to be honest. It works. But chilled, not hot, and good quality. So don't get into the cooking sake. Guys, this is Ruth's favourite dish when she's feeling a bit, I can't be bothered, and it's bloody good food. So well done, Ruth.